Good afternoon. The mere mention of Kagoshima Kenjin Kai brings back a flood of memories. I remember the association dinners at Sankolo on the second floor on First Street in Little Tokyo. I remember summer picnics at Elysian Park and at Lake Lake. We ran foot races and play games where everyone won something just for participating. We would win rolls of toilet paper, bars of soap, and many other practical items. I remember the annual spring volleyball tournament at Westwood Park, the competition between all the different areas from Los Angeles and Orange County. I remember our Sunday morning ritual of going to Rancho Park to watch Kagoshima Kenjin Kai baseball team play against other Japanese teams in league and remain undefeated. I remember the exchange students from Kagoshima that would homestay with our family. The Kagoshima Kenjin Kai was established in, I'm sorry, 1899 and Fujin Kai in 1909. This year, they will be celebrating their 110th and 100th anniversary, respectively. Takeyuki Miyauchi was, and still is, the association's historian. He compiled all the data from the partnership, I'm sorry, the membership applications into reports and took photos of all the events of the Kenjinkai. When he became the president of the Kenjinkai in 1983, he was concerned about the future of the Kenjinkai. 80% of the members were older than the age of 60. Without new members, he knew that the death of the Kenjinkai would be inevitable. A meeting of all youths was called, and the Kagoshima Junior Club was established. The members were all in high school, and just like their parent association, they maintained the membership through social activities. The junior club hosted beach parties, softball games, dances, and ski trips to Mammoth Mountain. We volunteered our help at the picnics and volleyball tournaments hosted by the Kenjinkai. The junior club helped the Japanese-speaking seniors to complete ticket forms to the 1984 Olympic Games so they could attend the events. They had all attended Japanese language schools, making them bilingual in Japanese and English. The junior club membership began to wane when the youths went off to college or after graduating college took on careers. Many of us married and went on to live our own individual lives. As we started having families of our own, we again participated in the picnics with the invitations of the grandparents. Our children enjoyed the summer sun running on the grass and collecting prizes. In 1993, the dilemma of a dying Kenjinkai had not been resolved. Not only was the general membership aging, but the number of viable members young enough to run the organization and its events were also beginning to shrink. Mr. Miyauchi held another meeting for the English-speaking children of the Kenjinkai. This time, only a handful of people showed up. We brainstormed on ideas of what it would take for us to participate in the Kenjinkai. After much discussion, we came to the conclusion that the only commonality was our Kagoshima heritage. We were curious about our roots in Kagoshima, and would we, we would make an organization where we can gather and exchange our knowledge of Kagoshima. To reflect the new direction that the club would be taking, we unanimously agreed to change the name of Junior Club to Kagoshima Heritage Club. A new board was elected to re reorganize the club. Events were placed on the annual calendar to take place in the spring and the autumn of each year. The events were now focused on giving our members opportunities to educate themselves about Kagoshima. Lectures included topics on history, famous people from Kagoshima, Kenjinkai history, Japanese immigrants, Japanese swords, and more. Outings included a trip to Santa Rosa where the first Kagoshima immigrant, Kanae Nagasawa, resided 
and established a vineyard. A trip to Imperial Valley Pioneers Museum, a trip to Coast Nursery in Camarillo, a tour of the Japanese American National Museum in Little Tokyo. We hosted an annual day at the races at Santa Anita Racetrack to raise funds for scholarships. We held work workshops on creating your family tree, cooking demonstrations on Satsuma cuisine, and how to create your own bonsai. The Heritage Club had the pleasure of partaking in the 100th anniversary celebration of the Kenjinkai in 1999. We attended the gala reception and had opportunities to meet visiting dignitaries from Kagoshima. We shared the efforts to publish a hardbound commemorative book written in both Japanese and English. To commemorate the 20th anniversary of Heritage Club, a tour of Kagoshima took place in the spring of 2003. The tour group consisted of first-timers to Japan, natives from Kagoshima, professional business owners, retired seniors, and school-aged children. As a group, we did typical sightseeing, visiting gardens, participating in tea ceremonies, and soaking in onsen. A day out of the tour was set aside for each member of the group to visit their counterpart in Kagoshima. With the help of the Kenjinkai, contact was made with the Kagoshima prefectural government and the brain exchange took place. Those involved with the local chambers of commerce in the states met with their counterparts of the Kagoshima Chamber of Commerce. My children had the opportunity to visit an elementary school in Japan. Every member had an opportunity to exchange information on a professional and cultural personal or, or personal level. Another day was set aside for each member to visit the town that their family originated from. We were received by either relatives or city officials. They drove us to grave sites where we were able to pay respect to our ancestors. They gave us tours around town and provided us with, with local hospitality. It was an unforgettable trip for each and every one of us. A quarterly newsletter in English is published and distributed to the members of others interested in Kagoshima. The newsletter includes a message from our president, a calendar of events, and news about our members. The most popular section of the newsletter is exclusive articles of interesting facts about Kagoshima. And these are written by our club historian and newsletter, ed newsletter editor, Tim Asaman. Although members may not come out to participate in the semi-annual hosted events, many are interested in reading Tim's articles. The newsletter is vital in increasing the Heritage Club's membership. The newsletter is circulated not only in Southern California, but also nationally and even internationally. Our present day membership of the Heritage Club is ecle eclectic, including Nisei, Sansei, Native Japanese, young professionals, retired seniors, college students, and much more. As part of the campaign to increase the membership of the Kenjinkai, each high school, the Kenjinkai, each high school recipient from the Kenjinkai receives free membership to the Heritage Club for five years. With that free membership, we hope to retain some of the young people in the association and keep the Kenjinkai alive. The youths of today will be the leaders of tomorrow. And I hope that through the ties to the, Ken to the Heritage Club, a new generation will inherit the Kenjinkai and keep the legacy of our forefathers alive. Thank you. <laughs>